Okay, folks, here we go. We move on to our fifth fight in the evening. Now, this is the last or well, second semi final for the 150 pound Global House Grand Prix tournament. Who is going to face Pet there in the final later on this year? Well, we'll find out shortly. It's, Mor it's Morocco taking on Thailand. In the blue corner, we've got Ayub Wakif. He's 25 years old, 174 centimeters tall, 27 fights in his record, 16 victories, 11 defeats, no draws. Saying on here that he trains out the Satyan Muay Thai gym in Bangkok. I think that needs to be updated. I think he's training out the Tokyo Fight Club gym in Bangkok as well. And he's representing Morocco. And uh, introducing his opponent in the red corner, it is Sansak Fimai Pongsaton. 24 years of age, 178 centimeters tall, has a total of 52 fights, 37 victories, 10 losses, and 5 draws. Currently training out of Pimai Pongsaton, and he is from Buriram province in the northeastern part of Thailand. So we can see. Mohamed Taufuk, who is in the blue corner for Ayub Wakif, who's, gone, who's going through to the final for his Global House Grand Prix tournament. Let's see if Ayub Wakif can go through as well. In his last fight, he knocked out Pet Ratana Suwan Ahan Bikmai. He's fought a few times on this promotion as well, Ayub Wakif. I think if I remember correctly, he wasn't just training at Satyam Muay Thai, he also trained at uh, Saw Dechpan for a short moment. Yeah, and as for Sansak in his previous bout, he won by decision against Ahad Vagarian. So both of them coming off impressive victories in their previous bouts. And the stakes have gone even higher. So it's 30,000 bar up for grabs, no matter how you win in this bout. Doesn't matter if you win on points or by knockout. But we do give prizes if you do knock your opponent out with these moves. So spinning back elbow Flying knee or kick to the head. That's 10,000 baht for each of these knockouts. But if you do a spinning back heel kick to the head and you knock someone out like that, you will get 30,000 baht. And I don't think anyone has claimed that one yet. The last no. one, that is. No, 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 no. But we've certainly seen some spinning back elbows, flying knees, and head kicks. We've seen a few of those this year, but not a lot of them have knocked their opponent out. I think the head kicks, though. Then we've had a couple of head oh, kicks. We've got a lot of head kicks, oh, that's yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah. We could make a if whole anything, compilation of it. If anything, that's probably the easiest one. Wow. Yeah. Easier said than done. Of course. And to kick things off, literally, here come the body kicks flying back and forth between these two. Yeah, because, I mean, high kicks, you train quite a lot when you when someone's uh, pad holding for you. But flying knees and spinning back elbow is something you don't train quite often. Well, it's a technique that the Saw Dechpan Gym love to practice, the flying knee. Especially Jao Sir Yai. And Xavi Gonzalez, seeing him win by knockout at Rajnan Stadium for that move. Oh, oh my huge goodness. right elbow down the middle. And Ayub is on the canvas. Is he going to make the count? Doesn't look like it. Oh my goodness, he does. Get up very slowly, that right elbow right down the middle. He doesn't know where he is. And Sansak goes straight back in to finish the job, and here he comes. Holding on for dear life now. Wagyu. Ayub Wagyu still on the back foot. Receiving this storm of punches. Holding on for dear life at the moment. That's the first knockdown we've had tonight. And what a shot that was. It hit him right on the button. And Sansak has got two minutes on the clock to finish the job. And one thing's for sure, Ayub was not expecting a shot like that from Sansak, especially so early on in the fight. Neither were we. Jeez, that almost knocked us out in the commentary box. I would love to see that once again, but it seems like Ayub has gained his composure once again. Well, Sansak tries to go to work on his opponent. Needs the miss section by Ayub. Elbow attempt, missing. Yeah, your boy Kip looks like he's just about recovered from being knocked down early on. Sounds like though, needs to try and capitalize on that knockdown a little bit more. Question is though, has Sansak turned himself out? He looks that way, breathing extremely heavily here in this first round. Left hook there from Sansak, going to the body as well, trying to go upstairs with that left hook to land it. Just missing the mark. Ayub Wakif missing the mark as well with his left body kick. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt that Sansak did get tired from that barrage of punches early on in the fight. So I think he's just taking this round off and just waiting for the next round. He's saying this as a break at the moment. There's no doubt about it. He does have this round secured in the bag. Yeah, he does have the advantage, but for me, I 
the fans at least want to see him go in and finish the job. Yeah, he tried to do that. Breathing extremely heavily at the moment. Something Ayub could perhaps take advantage of. Lovely sweep there from Sansak. Ayub taking a good look at the clock. We've got 15 seconds to go on the clock at the moment. Ayub landing his left body kick. Good technique for him and see if he can find a groove with it in the next round. Lovely low kick from Sansak. Return by Ayub. Very good of him to gain his composure, and that is the end of the first round. การกีฬาแห่งประเทศไทยร่วมกับ LWC Super Champ สนับสนุนนักกีฬามวยไทยยกระดับสู่สากลมวยไทยมวยซอฟต์พาวเวอร์วันเสาร์17นาฬิก30นาทีช่องสดทางช่องแปกดเลข27Sansak Pimai p o n g s a t o no doubt about it, ahead on the scorecards after scoring a knockdown in that first round. Ayub, well done to him for gaining his composure. Let's take a look at that first round. Let's take a look at that knockdown. Beautiful right hand from Sansak. Oh, it was the right hand. I thought it was an elbow. Yeah, just dropped right over the guard, hit him right on the chin. But it was just coasting there from then on from Sansak. Did try and go in and finish the job, but it wasn't very successful. I, I'm not. It's, it's not to take away from that knockdown of Sansak, because that was a brilliant knockdown. But I'm so impressed by the way Ayub recovered. Yeah, so am I. I thought he was out of it. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to make it up, but he did. And here we go. Let's see if we can make up for it in this round. There's that left body kick. Great body kick so far from Ayub, but Sansak coming back with one of his own. Yeah, no doubt about it. A very different Ayub from what we saw in the first round. He looks game in this round here. Just needs to try and find a groove with that left body kick. You can tell it's one of his favourite techniques to throw. This is go-to when you're under pressure. You want to stick to the shots that you just are completely well versed in, that you like to throw. Find a groove with it because it can just you can build on from there. You can build on the momentum from that. Yeah, no doubt about that. Going for the low kick. Left hand landing for you, but left kick landing for Sansak. We saw some good hands from Sansak in the first round. Probably a tribute to one of the golden era legends, Sansak m u n s u r i n and some very good hands in that era as well. Left body kick there from Sansak, and again from Ayub. Ayub high guard on the front foot now, trying to claw back some points in this round. If anything, Kevin he really does need a knockdown as well. I was about to say, question is, is Sansak being a little bit too loose in this round here? It seems like it at the moment, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not so aggressive. Oh, Less though, he is blocking the shots. He is scoring some points. Lovely kick to the midsection, and managed to take his opponent on the floor on one foot. Just noticed on the sheet here that Sansak is from Bakonchai in b u r i r a m Province, which is where you know some of our favourite fighters are from: Superlek, r o n n a r a i Singnam, p e p e r n a m r o n g g y a m u g a o b u r i r a m just overall a big hotbed for Muay Thai fighters. Yeah, it really is. Some really good fighters coming out of that province. Four of them I just mentioned, absolute household names, especially Super Luck at the moment. If anything, probably one of the greatest of all time at, in this generation, in this era of Muay Thai that we're seeing at the moment. 100. You got p u k o n c h a i one of the big districts in b u r a m Four Muay Thai fighters. Another one is being Nongki. Jab here from a y u b a k i Really does need to make this a dirty fight and just take the fight to Sansak. Can't go for points too much. Just go try and hurt him and damage him. Go for that knockout. We've got how much the 30 second mark now on round number two. 
Sansak is on the back foot, but I still think he's scoring some really good points. And I do think he's still ahead. Despite being on the back foot. But honestly, would love to see him go for the knockout once again. Lovely kick to the midsection. Going into the clinch. Quite honestly, after the first knockdown, I thought we we're going to see Sensa continuously try to go for that knockout. Wasn't to be though, change of strategy. And end of the second round. กีฬาแห่งประเทศไทยร่วมกับ LWC Super c h a m สนับสนุนนักกีฬามวยไทยยกระดับสู่สากลมวยไทยมวยซอฟต์พาวเวอร์วันเสาร์17นาฬิกา30นาทีช่องสดทางช่องแปกดเลข27A round on the back foot for Sansak, but nonetheless, I think he took that round. Ayuk Wagyu chasing, going forward. But think in this third round, he needs to go for a knockout. Yeah, 100%. I mean, <laughs> he's saying that Sansak won that round. His cornerman really <laughs> looked like he was having a proper firm word with him in between rounds. Just sort of firing him up as well, maybe. And why not? Oh, you need that. You need that sometimes. Exactly. You really do. And I do like to see a fired up Sansak, nonetheless. I like to see two fired up fighters going up against each other. I think a lot of the fans at home would agree. Yeah, you... What gift really does need the knockout here for me. Don't think... He's going to be able to win this on, definitely not going to be able to win this on points because of the knockdown in the first round. You've got to go for broke right now. Try as much as you can. Here we go, third and final round. But as we know, anything can happen in the sport of Muay Thai. We've seen it time and time again. I just wonder if, if Ayub Wagyu has had any shots that actually hurt Sansak. He's certainly trying to go for it now. Lovely kick by Sansak. He remains on the back foot. Lovely kick landing from Sansak. Yeah, left body kick there from Sansak. Money shot at the moment. And again, landing it again on the front foot. Scoring some very easy points at the moment, the tie. Are you, though? Yeah, the, body, the low kicks are a good range finder for him, but he needs to try and hurt Sansak. Go for broke with his punches. Sansak does have a bit of a wide open guard. Look how low that left ha right hand is as well for a left hook. Oh, a lovely shot to the midsection, landing again and again for Sansak. Oh, another hand landing for Sansak, but this time firing up Ayub. Yeah, flush jab there from Sansak. And it's easier said than done picking holes in Sansak's defense, but trying to get in there and get the job done is just a lot harder. Slick move there from a Sansak. That's a big learning experience for Ayub. But I have to say, though, I do really like his body kicks. I think he's got good fundamentals there from that. So it's something to definitely build on. That left body kick has been really hard for Sansak to block. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, he does have the basics, correct? He does have a lot of experience. He has a lot of matches here in Thailand. The only thing he can do now is just build from that. Jab again, landing, push kick. For Sansak. Really didn't expect Sansak to fight more technical after seeing the barrage of punches he threw in the first round. And what's going on here? The referee calls the fight. Honestly, a very one-sided contest. Yeah, I think a good good decision there from the referee. Ayub just taking too much damage and way too behind on the judges' scorecards. Unfortunately, that, it is what it is. Don't see that too often, but the referee has to 
have the fighter's safety as his main priority. Yeah, but certainly if it's very, very one-sided, like what we saw there, Ali. Yeah, I mean, Ayub just getting outpointed, outscored. I mean, Ayub may not hate, might not be happy about it, but at the same time, it was a referee's decision. He's very experienced, the referee, and he decided to make the call there. Quite understandable. But nonetheless, a very impressive victory for Sansai Pimai Pongsaton. He'll be advancing in the Global House Grand Prix at 150 pounds. Check in Ribroy! Kudia Hong Rai Gan Moni, they have got sick Moira, Global House Grand Prix, they have let Pushana Ravani, Len Sabap, Mike Hop Sam, Yok Lady Yoga. The winner by TKO goes to Red Corner! Sansak Pimai Pong's Ton Gap, Ben Fai, Ashna Tedigan of Al, Ayuwa Gift of Morocco, Bedai, Yoki Sam Gap, Song Nati, Song Winati, and any gap. Redua, Tombok, how about Nina, who cloaked in things about Sansak, the gap, Rabna no one china, sort of fine gap, Salmon Bata, Golobo House, the crab, did you do it from Sansak? พี่ไม้พงศธรนะครับนอกจาก 30,000 บาทแล้วแสนสักตีตัวก็สุรบรองเชลเลอร์เป็นหนึ่งคนนั่นเองนะครับแต่จะไปถึงแชมป์ถึงฝั่งฝันหรือเปล่าต้องติดตามให้ดีนะครับเอาละครับเดี๋ยวพักสักครู่หนึ่งช่วงหน้าห้ามพลาดครับกับศึกไต่บัลลังก์แชมป์ลุมพินีครับพิกัด132ปอนด์เปลี่ยนจาก3ยกเป็นมวย5ยกกันบ้างน,นะครับมวยเข่าโหดอย่างฉลามขาวสิทธิ์คุณม้าวันนี้มีคิวเจอกับนักชกจากนะครับอิรานโมฮัมเหม็ดอาลีสักครู่เดียวกลับมามันกันต่อครับ LWC Super c h a m ครับพีโนมอบสิ่งที่พิเศษตั้งแต่การเริ่มต้นของธุรกิจคุณเพื่อสร้างความสุขและรอยยิ้มให้เกิดขึ้นตลอดไปสร้างรากฐานที่ดีในวันนี้เพื่ออนาคตที่ยั่งยืนและมีรอยยิ้มไปกับฮีโน